Hello classy people, how y'all doing? Wayne Bolden here at the Speed King channel. If you're watching this video, do us a big favor. Help support us by subscribing, ringing the bell, watching our videos totally, along with the ads. And of course, you know to comment. That's my favorite part. Our email address is speedking24 at yahoo.com, speedking24. Well, I wanted to take a quick look at a stake race at Santa Anita tomorrow, which is Saturday. It is Cal Cup Day, and there is a horse that I've been looking to play. A, you know, really, a, not a first-time starter, but third time off the layoff. And, you know, this is one of my best plays of the day. If I had one play to play all day, it would be this horse. So I wanted to at least put it out to the community. It is the 10th race. It is the Leanne Howard California Cup for three-year-old fillies, California bred. Full field of 12. I'm just going to run through them to get to my horse to let you know what. I like. All right. The number one horse in the race is Big Novel. A very, very nice horse. There's nothing really wrong with Big Novel. Uh, ran a beautiful race last time in a stake race. $100,000 ran second. The only problem, this is a mile on the turf for, for the girls. And uh, this horse has never been on the grass. Not once. So I'm not sure. He's only four to one. We're going to look past Big Novel. El Mariah. El Mariah is the number two horse. Uh, very, very nice horse again. Uh, four starts, two wins, and one second. Speed figures are light. Never been on the grass uh, either. So again, the two is 20 to one. We're not afraid of her in this spot at all. Vivacious Vanessa. Oh, so there's my horse, Miss Vivacious uh, Vanessa. Vivacious Nessa. Well, Vivacia Nessa, uh, Vanessa has two starts, one win, and one third. This California bred is uh, Philly is by not this time. Uh, this horse is trained by, I believe it's Gary Mandela, not, you know, his dad, obviously, with Juan Hernandez. The speed rating on this horse is very, very nice. The turf rating all the way back to the dam is very, very nice. And if you go back and you watch this horse, very first start of her life, October 16th at Santa Anita, you'll see that she broke her maiden stylishly. She was in a lot of traffic. She was a two-year-old. She was weaving and bobbing. And this horse has a turf foot, if you ask me. I think she's a huge, huge turf move-up. So after she broke her maiden on October 16th, I cashed a decent ticket on her that day at 7 to 2. They gave her about 28 days uh, off, and she ran at Del Mar on November 5th, which is Breeders' Cup, uh, Phillies Day, basically, Breeders' Cup, the Day of the Oaks, but she was in an under-graded uh, stakes, ra uh, stakes race, which wasn't a Breeders' Cup race on that card, which was the Golden State Juvenile Phillies, and she ran, okay, she ran third um, behind Big Switch, but it was on the dirt. So now she's been away for some 71 days, she's returning as a three-year-old, Philly, obviously, and returning back to the grass, which makes her, in my eyes, a turf move-up. I expect her to run better on the turf the second time than she did the first time. Now, I would employ you to go and watch this race at, Sa at Santa Anita her, when she broke her maiden on the grass um, on October 16th. It was just a beautiful, beautiful way. She was weaving and bobbing. No, this one learns how to run. She's going to be tough. So I really want to see this Philly run as a three-year-old the first time as a three-year-old and the second time on grass, which I expect a huge, huge move up. Juan Hernandez is in the arms, and I do expect this Gary Mandela horse to run huge, and that's a vivacious uh, Vanessa, the number three, that's going to be our best bet. Like I said, if there was one horse I had to play all day and wait to play, it would probably be this horse. I mean, I love whopping Jay in, uh, I think, the fifth race at Santa Anita, but I really, really like this uh, vivacious uh, Vanessa horse, and it's four to one on the morning line. So I want to see this three-year-old take flight and see how she runs second time on the lawn. I think we may be looking at a very, very nice filly on the grass going forward, even though she's a California bred. The number four horse, I'm not really worried about. Uh, money, Penny, four starts and one win. Another dirt horse, uh, trained by Solis, and again, I'm not overly worried about the number four in this spot at 30 to 1. 
as well as the number five horse, Madiha. Madiha is a, still a maiden, uh, seven starts with no wins. So I'm not really worried about this horse, the number five, Madiha, at 20 to 1. The number six horse, the same thing, Aluthera. Aluthera is a maiden as well, three starts, no wins. The number six. So again, just like the five, Madaha, I'm not really worried about the six in this spot. Okay? Even though it's very nice speed figures, to be honest with you, for a horse that has never won. And here is your favorite and probably the likely horse you have to beat in here. The number seven horse, Professor's Pride, has two starts and two wins. And you can't knock that. That horse is uh, five to two on the morning line, the number seven, by Byron. And the horse, uh, Broker Maiden back there in March, uh, back in November, excuse me, at Del Mar, and then went to Los Alamitos and won the stake race. Gate to Wire Fashion, uh, which was a Soviet problem stakes race, and was 9 to 5. I actually cashed a ticket on Professor Pride that day. Now, that was a mile. This is a mile. The only difference is the number 7 horse, who is your 5 to 2 favorite, and I believe rightly so, is going to the grass for the first time. Now, the sire isn't that great, but the, the grand sire is by twirling candy. So, again, you're right. The number 7 has every right to be 5 to 2 in this spot. Uh, I will tell you this, Juan Hernandez jumped off of this horse to ride my horse, number 3, Vivacious uh, Veronica. So, I mean, Vivacious uh, Vanessa. So the number 7 does deserve to be the favorite in this spot for sure. Uh, don't know how she's going to turn, but at 5-2 to two, it's a little underlay. I still love the number 3 horse here, the Miss Vanessa horse. But the 7 is a very, very strong player because she's going to be on the front end. And Dendaria. Dendaria, the number eight horse, five starts, two wins. You can't knock that. There's that game. man again, Mama Who. That is John Sadler. Well, this horse is really a cut below all of these. Been beaten a few times by Big Novel and Professor Pride in here. And Medaha, the number two horse. Um, I just don't, I mean the number five horse. I just don't like Dendera here at all. She is... Uh, you know, just appears to be a cut below all of these speed figure wise. That's the number eight horse. So we're going to throw her off the ticket. And the number nine horse, Precious Insight. Well, this horse is everything but that. Speed figures are horrible on the number nine horse. Seven wins and only one start. Solus with his second uh, horse in this race. Looks to be a cut below these. And I don't like the number nine at 20 to 1 in this spot. And it's the same thing with the number 10 here. Uh, which is La Demia uh, Estella, uh, La Demia Estella, right? Uh, that's a French name. I probably uh, botched the number 10 horse's name. But again, here is another horse like the 5 and the 6. That is a maiden. The number 10 horse is 0 for 6. I can't take much stock in that. I'm going to throw the 10 right off the ticket. None of these horses scare me at all. Um, the number 11 horse, Rose Dawson. Why, ah, the old Rose Dawson horse is 7-2. Here's your co-favorite in the race. One start, one win. I get it. It's filled the model. Okay, Raisin is our uh, sire. And, of course, who else is in the arm? Flavian Pratt. So, you know the number 11, Rose Dawson, is going to take money for two reasons. One, it's Flavian Pratt. Two, it's filled the model. Three, the horse is one for one. The only difference is this horse broker maiden on December 5th at uh, Los Alamitos on the dirt. Trying to turf for the first time and the turf breeding on this horse suggests, let me take another look, is horrible, you know. So I don't like the number 11. It is the cold favorite behind the 7, Professor's Pride. So the number 11, Rose uh, Dawson, to me, is outside, going to mile, probably will lose some ground, going to take a bunch of money, it's Flavian, and it's 7-2. to two. So, whatever, I don't like the 11. And the last horse in the race is Vaping Angel. Well, Vaping Angel has done really nothing wrong. She's had four starts, she won two, two of them. That's awfully good. And ran third once. You know, the problem with the old vaping horse is that she's way outside. And two, her speed figures are just horrible and horrendous, you know. She does like to run late. She need a fast pace in front of her. I don't think she's going to get that fast of a pace because the number seven will be on the lead 
by herself, Professor Pride. So the number 12 we're going to throw right off the ticket in this spot for sure. So there it is. We're in love with the number three, Vivacious uh, Vanessa. We love the horse at four to one. We want to see her second time on the lawn. We think she's a big turf move up. We think this horse may have a bright, bright future. So that's my best bet. If I had one play to make all weekend, it would be the number three, Vivacious Vanessa in the last race. Take them home with Kaboom on the number three. I love this horse. I really do. And I'm going to push a few shackles in. There it is. Stay classy. I'll do, our disclaimer is below. And as always, make some shackles, have some fun, and help me get this Vanessa horse home. We love this horse. The number three, last race, Santa Anita on Saturday. Gate, not gate to wire. I'm always going gate to wire. We think she's a winner. Talk to you classy folks later.